Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan Darwin Design here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be going over just a little feature in Photoshop that I think a lot of people don't know or just don't use and I want to bring light to how useful it could be in, uh, in improving the efficiency of, of one's workflow. So uh, it's called Libraries and I had someone ask me a question about how to use it. So I figured I'd just make a video on it. Um, to get started, just go to Window and then click on Libraries. So I already have a few already uh, that people have made. Um, and they just shared with me. So this is just all the NFL teams sectioned off with logos and hex colors and all that stuff. And then I have one with NBA as well. You can just imagine how useful that is to have everything here uh, in my Photoshop already. Everything's high quality. I don't have to worry about going to Google and getting everything. Like it's all here. Um, so the, like it's just ease of access is just right there. So to make one, you just click on add libraries here, click the plus and then create new library. I'm just naming it tutorial and um you could just drag and drop stuff so i'm gonna go to google i already have a 49ers logo pulled out here just go to google images look whatever um settings advanced search under image size larger than two megapixel it'll help filter out all the lower quality stuff and then you can download whichever one i already got it downloaded so i'll drag it into my photoshop and then i could drag it right into the library and as you can see here it's in here and you know it's in uh by the cloud icon on the layer so once it's in, you could just rename it or just right click and rename, I'll rename it 49ers logo PNG. And you can add everything to here. You can add layer styles, uh, fonts, PSDs, whatever, like textures, whatever. So you could also add uh, swatches. As you saw, there was hex colors in there. So I'll teach you how to do that too. Um, the swatch is based off your foreground color. So I'm going to just get the 49ers red and under my swatches here, swatches are basically just palettes. Like, so you can make your own color palette. Um, I'm going to click the plus to make a new swatch. I'm just name it 49ers red. And you'll see this uh, checkbox here that says add to my current library. So it'll do it automatically. And just like that, it gets added in. So I'm going to left click or control and left click on both of them and create a group. Just name it 49ers. And just like that, you can see it's basically what all these were just every other color and logo and stuff like that. And so you can see how I could take a little bit of time to do it for every single team. I mean, it's obviously not just sports related, but if you were working in sports, I would highly recommend doing it for every team. Um, but in the long run, like even though it may take a little bit to kind of set it all up in the long run, it'll save you so much time from having to go back and forth. You can obviously put more in here than just team logos. I mean, as I said, watermarks, PSDs, uh, whatever, right? Another thing I want to mention is you can actually share these with other Creative Cloud users. So um, just in the library folder itself, you can see this plus button here, invite to library. If you click that, it should open up a web tab or a web browser. And if it doesn't, you can just do it manually. Just in your Creative Cloud under files and under your libraries, you'll see all the uh, libraries you have. And then you can just click on whichever one you want to share with people. So this one's tutorial and I can click right here and then invite. And you can just share it with their email like that and um, everyone will be able to move stuff in use it and um, so as i mentioned this is connected to your creative cloud so every computer you log into whatever like if you log into photoshop on a different computer um, on your same creative cloud this is all going to be there so if you're you know on the go this is perfect if you're working in a team you can help share it with people and it's just a lot easier way to um, have all your assets and, and resources just right here and ready to go so you don't have to worry about you know scrambling and uploading a different way so yeah, that's pretty much all I got for today's video. If you got any questions, you can leave them down below and I'll get back to you. Or you can hit me on my socials, those are always in the description. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.